Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take a look at WordPress social sharing optimization. It's a plugin that allows you to exercise greater control over how your content appears when it is shared on social networks. There are definitely a number of plugins that will influence this such as WordPress SEO by Yoast so you will need to be mindful of that uh, as there's certainly no need in doubling up but uh, as a standalone, this plugin is really great, and in this particular video, we're going to run through the open graph settings. You can see those on my screen now. Uh, there are four tabs that we need to go through. The first one we can see is called Title and Description. It's pretty straightforward to set up. Uh, you can see the first option you need to set is the article topic. It's set as none as a default, uh, and it's definitely recommended that you change this to something that's more fitting for your particular website, maybe uh, for WPKB, we choose internet tools. Uh, that would be a suitable candidate, of course. And then here you can see the site name and the site description. Uh, these need to be put in in United States English uh, at this time anyway. Uh, it's just pulling in the default data out of the general settings. You can see it's got the normal site name there as well as the site description. And just below that, it's also pulling in the title separator and in WordPress's case for the default it's just going to be a single dash. You can change that to be a bigger dash or anything you'd like really. You can have a pipe. Uh, it's really up to you but using the default is just going to be fine for most people. You can also access hashtags in the description. If you want to do that you do need to buy the pro version of this plugin. It's a pretty neat feature but you'll need to think about how useful it's going to be for you anyway. After we've done that, we'll move into the Images tab. The first setting is for how many images to include. One is the default, and ultimately that's going to be fine for most people. You should always have at least one image in what is shared. It will make it a lot more presentable, and it will make it definitely stand out amongst the crowd that's you know shared on Facebook and Pinterest and Twitter and so on. You can also define the image dimensions. The default's 800 by 800, and the plugin will automatically crop those as is required. You can also choose some backup here as well by inputting a default image ID. So maybe you've got a default image ID of three. You can put that there, and it's going to pull those out of the media library. Alternatively, you can also specify a default image URL. So it would be, say, at first, it would be example.dev. So it'd be something like that, and then you'd have image image name.png or something like that anyway. Next we'll jump into the videos tab. Now this is only applicable if your particular post or page or whatever it is that you're sharing on social media has a video. As you can see the default is to simply include one. And finally we get to authorship. The only setting we have here with the regular version of this plugin is the article publisher page URL. This some people tend to get confused with the Google plus publisher page. So for this one, you'd have uh, your Facebook page in there. So for us, it would be wpkb.com. And that's all you need to put in there to make sure that's going to work. So let's say you set up the basics in this plugin, your general open graph settings to make sure that when content is shared to social media, it is shared in a presentable format that does look nice to all people. If you have any questions about anything we've covered in this video today, by all means, please feel free to ask in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe.